Hello! Welcome back to the channel. Today we are talking about the Tibetan Massif, which is quite interesting actually. And it was a very hard dog to draw. So, yeah, I'm proud of myself that I at least finished it. <laughs> but anyway, it took me a very long time to find a good reference photo, which is part of the problem. But I settled on the one that we are about to see. And it was because you could see the face really well and you could actually see its eyes a little bit. So yeah, let's put two minutes on the clock. All right, so the Tibetan Massive is an ancient breed of dog that has a long and storied history. Originated in the Himalayan region of Tibet, these dogs were bred and revered by Tibetan nomadic tribes for centuries. Tibetan Mastiffs were primarily used as guard dogs to protect livestock, homes, and monasteries from predators, including wolves, bears, and even snow leopards. Their imposing size, strength, and protective instincts made them highly effective in warding off potential threats. Trust me, you do not want this thing coming at you, like, at all. Just go on Instagram and search Tibetan Mastiffs and you'll see that they are huge and very powerful. The exact origins of the Tibetan Massive are somewhat unclear as the breed predates written historical records. However, it is believed to be one of the oldest and purest dog breeds in existence, with a lineage tracing back thousands of years. The Tibetan Massive's reputation as a fierce and reliable guard dog eventually caught the attention of the Chinese emperors, who sought to acquire them as prestigious gifts. During the Tang Dynasty, these dogs were presented to the Chinese court and other noble figures, further elevating their status and popularity in society. In Tibet, Tibetan Mastas were also valued as companions and working dogs. They were often kept by Tibetan monks and served as spiritual protectors. The monks believed that the dogs possessed certain spiritual qualities and considered them sacred. In 1931, a Tibetan Mastiff named Bampo was brought to England by a British couple, Mr. and Mrs. Bailey, and Bampo generated a lot of attention and became the first Tibetan Mastiff to be officially registered with the Kennel Club in the United Kingdom. Tibetan Mastiffs have an independent streak. They are not as eager to please as some other breeds and can be somewhat stubborn at times. This independence stems from their origins as working dogs that needed to make quick decisions in challenging and often isolated environments. As a result, they may not always respond instantly to a command or to training, and a patient and consistent approach is necessary. They will be best suited for someone that is well-versed in dog training or has a lot of experience in training big dogs. Despite their protective instincts, Tibetan Mastiffs are typically gentle and affectionate with their family members. They can be excellent companions and get along with children when properly socialized and introduced from an early age. They are not naturally outgoing or friendly towards strangers, and they tend to be reserved and may exhibit an aloof behavior when encountering unfamiliar people or animals. Early socialization is crucial to helping them feel more comfortable in different situations and to prevent them from becoming overly aggressive. Their coat comes in two main varieties, the lion type with the heavier, longer mane and the tiger type with a shorter coat. Today, I decided to do the lion type, which is why this dog has a giant mane and it was so hard to paint but I do think it came out quite cute. Definitely need to get more brushes for these longer hair dogs, but I think it worked out for now. <laughs> what do you guys think? Do you guys know any Tibetan Mastiffs? Please leave comments down below if you have experience with this breed. I would love to hear about it, and I hope you learned something new today. See you guys on the next one.